is May Hubbard. I'm 11 years old, and I go to the Columbus Gifted Academy. I really want to be either a singer, fashion designer, interior designer, or a chef when I grow up. I feel most connected to art if I'm singing. I've been doing it ever since I can remember. I really like to sing You're the Devil in Disguise by Elvis Presley. I also love the song Photograph by Nickelback. I sing in the car, shower, and almost everywhere else. But what if art never existed? Well, we would normally think that there wouldn't be any art museums. But that's just visual art. What about bands, music, and even film? How would people express themselves? Think about it. There would be no reading to your child, no, mu no murals, no art therapy. Kids couldn't relax after school with reading, writing, TV, or coloring. That's not all. What about all of those people that work in the arts? Those people would not have their jobs. There will be a lot of unemployed people. There are 150 plus jobs that involve art, costume designer, graphic novelist, and much, much more. Another important use for art is art therapy. Kid, children are most beneficial because they are not always comfortable talking, but if they use art to express themselves, they can be helped more easily. Art therapy isn't therapy, it's therapy with fun art. Art therapists are trained in therapy and, duh, art, so they can help you with feelings that you're struggling with. Art therapists help families, individuals, or couples. Why do schools even cut art and music classes? They think, oh, we're low on money. Well, art and music don't matter. Cut, cut, cut. But every child finds time to sing or draw and take a break in those classes. And anyway, art does matter. In 2015, the president and the US committee announced the expansion of Turnaround Arts. This program brings arts to schools that perform the lowest in their state. It started in 2011 with eight schools in eight different states. Then it got expanded to 49 schools in 14 different states. And those schools' tests have Im test scores have improved, attendance increased, and disciplinary problems decreased. Art is part of everyday life. The design of a simple chair is art. Instead of a plain, brown, boring chair, art transforms that chair into a beautiful thing to sit on. Without art, all chairs would be the same. Almost everything is art. In fact, I have a hard time thinking about something that isn't art. Then there's always that pleasure that we get from looking at pretty art. Without art, the world would be a terrible, bland place. People could not express themselves. So every time you go out to eat at your favorite restaurant, watch a movie, or read a book, take time to think about my thoughts. Contemplate what the world would be like if you couldn't go to the art museum, eat out, or read a book. Contemplate what the world would be like with no art. Thank you.